Tonight we hear from a Houstonian who marched then as a college student and continues to march today in his retirement. Since June the 2nd and the massive March for Justice for George Floyd in downtown Houston, 75 year old Dr. Craig Ottinger, a retired sociology professor, has spent his mornings outside his church. He wears a Black Lives Matter shirt and holds post in the busy Houston Museum District. When traffic goes by, the train goes by, I hold up my sign. Every few minutes, somebody beeps their horn in agreement. Every couple of days, somebody stops and comes over and talks to me and tells me how this has affected them. When people stop, what are those conversations like? There's a woman who said, I come by here every day. These are really depressing times, and I really look forward to seeing you out here. It makes my day, it makes me really, makes, gives me a spark of brightness in my life to see you out here every morning. Thank you. Another was a fellow who came by most emotional one. He was almost in tears. He said, I can't believe you're out here. It's so good to see a white person out here. Thank you so much. This means so much to me. And perhaps what the people passing by don't realize is how long Dr. Ottinger has been taking a stand against racial inequality and prejudice. First few days I was out here, this was the sign I had available. And so it was back out protesting after 50 something years. Um, I'm sorry there's still a need for it. And I'm sure that in a sense, as a result of this march, we subpoena the conscience of the nation. Dr. Ottinger marched on Washington 57 years ago, much for the same reason he marches today. I've been involved in the civil rights movement since I was 16. I was arrested when I was 16 in a civil rights demonstration. It, I didn't play a very important role in anything, but it had a large impact on me. A few years later in 1963, as an 18-year-old college student from Connecticut, he marched on Washington. It was hot, it was like a summer day in Houston. Uh, when the march started, the crowd was so large, you really was no room to march. You just sort of shuffled a few feet forward. And as a young white college kid, he was a minority at that march 57 years ago, but felt welcome, unified and inspired by all. We felt like the, we were shifting the axis of the earth that day. It was the largest crowd ever assembled in, in Washington at the time. And there was such good feelings between people, the kind of future we wanted that we really felt like something had happened. And while much has happened since then, Dr. Ottinger contends it hasn't been enough. The economics of the world, employment, uh, medical care, still shows enormous racial ethnic disparity. So. I'd want a world that was more equitable. I thought I would probably get that in my life, and the current situation makes me feel we hadn't made as much progress as I thought we had. Still, he is hopeful by the current actions of others. When he doesn't occupy his station outside his church, other church members step in. It's one thing to sit at home and say, I'm against racism. It's another thing to be out here and have people beeping the horns and waving or, or just passing by. And my hope is that the people that go by, particularly the white people that go by, that disagree with me, are at least reminded that racism is still on the agenda. We're not over it yet, and they ought to pay attention. Dr. Ottinger invites others to join him and the church in their efforts. For more info and guidelines, we've posted a link at khou.com.